First of all, amazing job on the film. Amazing, Thanks, amazing job. I, I, I'm not the super emotional guy, but but had me in tears. Yeah, a little bit. had me in tears a little bit. Uh, but I was, I wasn't very familiar with Jeremy Camp, um, his story. But I actually knew his music. Yeah. But I wasn't familiar with his story. What got you guys on board with this project? For me, it was like like any other project. My, my agent called me up and said, we have a really cool script we want you to read. I read it, I cried. I thought it was an amazing story. And at first I was a little hesitant, but then um, over the course of a couple of weeks, I spoke to Andy and John, we talked about the project and I decided to go for it. Yeah, I mean, I think for me, um, the script was exactly that. It was just, uh, you know, you, you read so many scripts and you sort of, um, you go through a, a slew of stories and you're like, what am I trying to do? What is this? And then you read something like this script and you know that it's a real story. And I was like you, familiar with his music, but not the story. Right. And then to know just sort of where he's gone in his career mm. and his life after the fact, it seemed like a really cool um, project to be a part of. And then obviously everybody who was involved. How, how involved was Jeremy on set with you guys with um, with telling his story? Because that has to be, you know, kind of hard to do. Difficult, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I mean, he was on set almost every day. Oh, was he? Um, and with his family too, which created a really nice family kind of vibe, which was really important, I think, for everyone. I think it helped everyone. Um, and he was there just for like moments, I think. There were certain moments that he was really helpful. And But, you know, I think for me, at least, uh, it was more me, Andy, and John. Uh, our directors that I was that I was working closely with for the character. Now a lot of this film hinges on your guys's chemistry. Uh, can you talk to me about portraying these roles in such a personal experience? Because even when you read the script, it is I'm sure it's emotional, mm -hmm. but seeing it on screen and doing it live is a completely different experience. So could you talk yeah. to me about that experience? Yeah, I mean, I think it was really useful to us just being in the same space for mm -hmm. as long as we were. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were in the same hotel. We were right yeah. next door to each other. We mm -hmm. would go over the scenes on Sundays before we'd work. So we knew everything sort of backwards and forwards. And we had a really good just sort of understanding of how each other, how we work. Sure. Um, and so every scene, you know, we sort of just took... Um, and separated it and, and focused on, on that particular scene mm. that day and tried to stay in the moment. Um, and I found that that was maybe the most useful because we never sort of were thinking like big picture, it's just like, let's do this mm -hmm. one thing and if we get through this, we can get through the next thing and so yeah. on. Yeah. Now, I'm They're so all big scenes, you know. Where, yeah. So we, you can't really think about, every day was like one big scene. So for me, I had to take everything out and just have that one scene yeah. in my mind. Sure. And then after that, I can put that behind me. Yeah. Get the next one. Now, a lot of people go through their own personal storms and I'm happy that this story is told. Uh, what are you hoping audiences take away from this film? I think it's exactly what we've been sort of talking about and how and what we've um, gotten out of the experience, you know, just this idea that it it allows you to sort of ask yourself questions about who you are and the things that are important to you in your life and, and mm -hmm. putting things into perspective in that way. Yeah. Um, so I hope that that's sort of useful to the audience and they can, you know, feel the love and feel the magic of this story. Yeah, I think people are going to want to fall in love after this movie, too. It's a true story. Um, <laughs> true story. <laughs> uh, KJ, last question to you. Uh, the, the Screen Rant people want to know, uh, you've been fan cast a lot is the Human Torch for a Fantastic Four Marvel remake. Okay. Uh, was that okay. something you would be interested in at all? What's that mean? Yeah, for sure. The Human Torch, you know, the Fantastic Four, like... Uh, they cannot do another. Fantastic as long as my hair doesn't have to be another. They cannot as, be doing that again. As long as my hair doesn't have to be red, I'll be good. Uh, yeah, I think you're solid there. I'll be good.